9 million Indonesians dropped out of the middle class. Um, Assalamu alaikum halal family. In today's video, we'll be checking out what happened and why has 9 million people in Indonesia have dropped out of the middle class. So stay with me. On the streets of the Indonesian capital, disappointment mm, and Jakarta. disbelief. Supriyono had worked at a factory that made gas stoves for almost three decades. I feel very, very sad. Just as I'm approaching retirement, it turns out the company's gone bankrupt. Wow. His colleagues have gathered to protest, but the factory director says the business had been struggling with weak demand. In 2019, the factory experienced a steep decline in product because people's purchasing power went down, mm -hmm. and until now, we've had difficulties. In 2019, so more than 57 million Indonesians were classified as middle class. The latest data indicates that number has dropped by about 9.5 million. 9 Experts say the decline is mostly due to increasing numbers of layoffs and fewer job opportunities. Some sectors, like the textiles industry, are seeing their worst redundancies in more than a decade. Wow. Indonesia is one of the world's largest consumer markets, with Jessica private consumption Washington. a key driver of economic growth. It accounts for more than Look half those, uh, of the six country's packs. GDP, <laughs> and that's largely powered by the middle class. Economists say the shrinking middle class may make it more challenging for the government to achieve its target of Indonesia becoming a high-income nation by 2045. 2045. If the consumption, uh, 21 consumption years in Solo. growth is not increasing, so uh, meaning that this, you know, uh, drop in uh, middle-income class uh, 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 population, meaning that the 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 source of uh, economic growth in Indonesia is also weakening. Hmm. So I think it's, it is more difficult for Indonesia to achieve high economic growth with this situation. The government considers those who spend between $130 to $640 a month to be middle class. Those to just below this bracket are classified as aspiring middle class, meaning they are more vulnerable to economic shocks and are less likely to spend. For us, my husband still can't find another job and his salary has not increased. And my son is still unemployed. Just meeting our daily needs is unaffordable. President right, Joko Widodo sure. says the declining middle class is not a problem that's unique to Indonesia. It is something sure. affecting many countries. He blames a global economic slowdown. Incoming President Prabowo Subianto is due to take office in October and has mm, promised to boost economic weeks. growth and create so, 19 million jobs. 19 million jobs. Okay, Subiano, that should be good. He can't help but look back to when times were easier, when his children would ask him for cash to buy snacks and when he had the money to indulge them. Jessica Washington, Al Jazeera, Jakarta. It, it's crazy, guys. It's it's everywhere. And uh, today I, I just uh, read uh, that uh, Cisco, like one of, uh, if you know technology, they make uh, routers and switches and ne network hardware devices and like, you know, Wi-Fi routers and, and whatnot. They laid up, the, they laid off a lot of uh, their uh, workers, like engineers and, and uh, whatnot. Um, so this issue has been going around throughout the world ever since COVID started, when there was a slowdown and uh, the governments had to fork a lot of money, the, the businesses lost a lot of money. Uh, so it's around the world that uh, the economies haven't been doing good, businesses are closing. Uh, the only suggestion I have is try to see, save a little bit of money uh, every month. So, you know, when things like this happen, you have a little bit of saved uh, money in your bank or, or with yourself to support yourself until you're able to find a job. And uh, don't 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 lose uh, hope. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala gives us uh, our risk. Uh, the other thing I would like to say is that you know um, help the smaller businesses, the mom and pop shops. You know those uncles and aunts that have a little cart that they sell food, for example, rather than going and getting it from like a big business, um, right? That they have multiple franchises and whatnot, like let's say McDonald's, KFC and, and whatnot, you can go to some smaller shop that sells food on the road, on the street. So that way they get uh, some money and that way they can um, support their uh, family. The bigger businesses, they already have money so they can survive. Uh, the smaller ones are the one that uh, need everybody's uh, help. And uh, you know, you guys uh, stay safe, keep at it. Inshallah, we'll come uh, through it all. Uh, soon as the world goes through this 
you know, there's light at the end of the tunnel, like uh, they say. And after every storm, the sun does uh, come out. So if you guys made it up to the end here, guys, thank you very much for all your love and support. Please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And you have any other cool food videos for me to check out, please put in the comment section below. As always, thank you very much for all your love and support. I hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care of yourself and your family. Inshallah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and wassalam.